Yo, what's going on, snipers, and welcome back to our Halifax Raiders Draft Quarter franchise mode here in NHL 24. So we're winding down in this series. We're up here actually now in the conference finals where we're going to be taking on Mateo Burkov in the Boston Bruins. So it's kind of interesting that we've been able to get this far because, to be honest, I didn't really think we were going to get this far in this final season, but we do have a chance to go back to the Cup Finals for one last time. So hopefully we could do that. Uh, but we've had a pretty good run up to this point in time. Buffalo was a much easier second round than I thought, so I am a little bit scared that we might get swept in this conference finals, but obviously you could see in the first round against Montreal, we won or lost our first two games, and then we won four straight games to take them out, and we're now on an eight-game winning streak going into the conference finals because we swept Buffalo with two nice overtime wins, 6-5, to five, so... We didn't have the best goaltending from Zadorov in that round. Uh, he was good in these two games, but in those other two games, he was definitely not that good, but our offense was able to prevail. So I don't know if we're going to necessarily continue winning games, but we've won eight in a row up to this point. It would be very nice if we could somehow win more and get ourselves to that cup finals again. Because obviously with this being the final season simulation, this could be the final simulation episode if we lose. Uh, if not, obviously, then the Cup Finals would be the final simulation episode, but there is a chance the next episode might be the finale recap already, depending on if we are able to win the series or not. So very much hoping we could do this. So uh, let me show you guys actually what the Boston Bruins are looking like, and then we'll get into the one comment that we got in last episode, and then we'll see if we're able to keep the series going a little bit longer because that's what we've been hoping for every single uh, playoff round so far. So you can see this is the Boston Bruins. What's interesting about them is they have not made the playoffs very much in this franchise mode. Uh, McIntosh, who's on their top line, has actually only played the playoffs four times, and he's already 33 years old. So Boston has just been a very streaky team when it comes to making the playoffs or not. Maybe it's because we're in the Atlantic Division as well, so maybe we're kind of pushing them out a lot. Uh, but Boston has not been super consistent with making the playoffs. But yeah, their forward group is a bunch of old guys. There is some good players on it, but it's not very good. Uh, what's kind of interesting is they're actually still scoring less goals than they're allowing, allowing, but they're not allowing that much. So they're a very good defensive team. And you can see why right here with this defensive core, it is uh, much better than their offensive core. One of the best defensive cores I think I've seen in quite some time. You got McCammon and Tarima, Bell and Shannon, and even this Devin guy is really good. And Estrada is a solid top six defensive option too. So... That defensive core, very solid. And then obviously they have the goaltender with our former guy, Mateo Burkov, who will get the play in his first playoffs with the Boston Bruins this year. And you can see he rocked a 9-10 in the regular season, and he's rocking a 9-29 so far here in the playoffs as well. So he's been very good. And they also have a solid backup if Burkov doesn't play good enough. And then here's their depth options as well, which are all on the defensive side of things. So they do have a lot of good defensive depth, but their offense definitely needs some work. And I hope that we're able to contain their offense because I feel like considering they haven't scored more goals than they've allowed at this point, that they might all of a sudden get that offense that they've been looking for throughout the first two rounds. So hopefully that is not the case. And we're able to knock them out and easily get ourselves to a cup finals. But let's get to the one and only comment we have. And then we'll see if we're able to extend the series a little bit longer. So that comment is from Logan May, who says, Will Burkhoff win a cup with Boston's? Will Ozens find his scoring touch? Will Snipe show a non-simulated Game 7 third period? Find out next time on Dragon Puck Cheese. <laughs> I don't know where the heck you got the Dragon part from, but I will uh, take it. Um, so, yeah, he was wondering, or uh, he was saying basically, Will Burkhoff win a cup with Boston? There's a chance. If we get eliminated here and Burkhoff goes on to win the Stanley Cup, I'm going to be happy with that at least because Burkhoff will get that cup win. Uh, but obviously it would kind of suck too to lose in the conference finals to him. Um, and he said, will Ozens find his scoring touch? That's one thing that we're definitely looking for. He had three assists last round in four games, so at least he played better than he did in the first round. But he still only has four assists up to this point in time. And he's definitely been one of our worst forwards on the team. So if he can start finding some goals and more assists in this conference finals, that could go a long way in helping out our offensive game. And he also asked if I would show a non-simulated game seven third period. So basically if it goes to a third period and it's tied watching the entire third period, I'm guessing what you're asking about. Uh, I mean, there's a chance. I don't know for sure, but it would make the episode a lot longer potentially. But it could be intriguing considering this is 
the final season so i guess maybe if we go to a game seven in this round maybe we could watch the entire third period together if it's tied i don't know exactly but it would be kind of neat to watch that and just commentate over top of that but anyways uh, i think that's enough talking there and i think we're ready to get into this matchup i'm a little scared like i said because if we lose this we only have one episode left if we win this then we have another episode after that at least so and yeah, whoever wins this place is the Sharks or the Golden Knights in the Cup Finals, which I don't know if any of our former players are on those teams, because I don't think I've ever played against them, so would be interesting to find that out if we do get to the Cup Finals or not. But we're on an eight-game winning streak. Let's see if we can make it nine. We have home ice advantage, of course. Let's see if we can get back to that Cup Finals for the, I guess, the third time in franchise history, because we've already been to one where we've lost. We won one as well, and this would be our third if we're able to get four more wins, so... Come on, boys. Let's get some wins on home ice. Let's build off those overtime wins we had against Buffalo. And let's uh, score more goals. And hopefully Zidorov can get back to his good goaltending performance and being consistent. Because that would go a long way as well in this uh, conference finals. So here we go. Game one on home ice. Let's see if we get score first. First period of game one. Three nothing us. Okay, that's a great start. We do know Mateo Burkov's weakness, apparently. Three goals on 16 shots. Great start for this team. However, I don't really like having really good game ones where you score a lot of goals because then all of a sudden your offense kind of dries up out of nowhere and then you don't win. So I am a little bit scared about that. But Raymond scores first, then Ramo scores, and then Kavanov scores. So a bunch of guys that have been not scoring too much, like Ramo and Kavanov, I'm pretty sure didn't really have any goals up to this point. And then obviously Chucky's been pretty solid at this point, but Chucky normally is a pretty good playoff player. Shots are 16 to 10 in favor of us, but we have a 3 0 lead already in Burkov's return to Halifax. Can we add to that in the second period or just play good defensively in the second period to keep them off the score sheet? Second period 5 1. Let's go, boys. This is a really good game here, but like I said, I am a little bit scared that we might all of a sudden lose our offensive touch after this game, but hopefully that's not the case. So Jacobson with an early goal makes it 4 0. <clears throat> Lane McIntosh makes it 4 1 as he does beat Zadorov. And then Len Jennings scores to make it a 5 1 game. Shots are 26 23 in favor of us. So pretty close in the shot department. But so far, Zadorov has been holding strong and our offense has also been converting. Let's see if we can lock this game down in the third period and take game one because we should be able to at this rate. Power play goal from Erat. Let's go. A lot of different players have been scoring this team in this game, but like I said, I am scared about the next game that we might not score any goals, which hopefully is not the case, considering Boston's been a great defensive team up to this point, and in game one, we just started completely blowing them up in terms of goal scoring. And we are going to take game one 6-1, to one, and that's our third game in the last while scoring six goals, so our offense has been definitely getting much better since uh, the opening round, I would say. So they scored only one goal on 38 shots. We scored on three, or not three, but I'm saying six on 35. So uh, yeah, what a great effort from Zadorov. What a great effort from the offense. What a great effort from the defense. It's just been a very good team effort in that first game, and hopefully it continues into subsequent games. So Chucky from Boucher and Jacobson, Ramo from Erat in Ozens, Kavanaugh from Del Rivera and Erat. Uh, Jacobson from Boucher and Chucky, Jennings from Kavanov and Hamelinen, and Erat from Ozens. So Ozens with a couple assists in that game, so he is helping out a little bit with the offense again, just like he did last round. Erat, though, with a three-point effort. That's pretty awesome. And then, yeah, we got great goaltending. We got great defense, great offense. Everything went well in that first game. So Zidorov, the first start of the game, Erat the second start, and Kavanov the third start. We are three wins away from the Stanley Cup Finals, and we have now won nine straight games. I am still a little bit scared that our offense might dry up after a textbook first game like that, uh, but we are looking for 10th in a row. I feel like if we do end up getting ourselves to the Cup Finals, though, we're going to lose because of how good we've been, though, because there's no way you just dominate completely up to a Cup win. Or if we do get to a Cup Finals, maybe we win at seven games or something like that instead, but it's not going to be that easy. Okay, I think we got to keep the team the exact same for Game 2. Let's see if we're able to consistently score goals and also if we're able to get to Burkov again early because obviously we did the last game and we were able to ride that for the rest of the game. Let's see what happens in game two. See if we can keep up the effort. Can we win our 10th in a row as well? First period of game two. 1-0 Bruins. 
Yeah, I'm kind of getting scared about that situation I mentioned about where you're going to score a lot of goals in game one, but then again, it's going to come to game two and stuff like that, and we're not going to be able to score as much. So McCam and their defenseman score shots are 10 to 7 in favor of us, but it is a scoreless first period for us, but one goal for them. Um, hmm. We could have a good response in a second. I know we have the offensive capability, but we have had games this season or this playoff run where we just don't find our offense as much, so I am a little bit scared that we are just not going to be able to find a way to tie this game up somehow, even though we're only trailing by one. We just need to drop the whole list into it, and maybe our offense could strike at any moment. So can we find a way to tie this game up in the second period and have good goaltending as well from Zadorov? Second period. 2-2, two, two, okay. Okay, they did make it 2-0. It was another defense with a goal. Bell with a short-handed goal. However, Chucky scores a power play goal on the same penalty. That's interesting. And then Dwyer ties the game up. Dwyer's been pretty damn good for us here in his rookie season. Shots are 22-15 in favor of Boston. So once again, we're being outshot. Less like last game, but we are tied this time going into the third period. Obviously don't have the lead intact. Can we get that lead? Because we have not had the lead yet in this game too. Let's see what happens in the third period. Come on, boys. Who wants to be the hero for us? Penalty kill in the third period. We kill it off. Nicely done, boys. Good stuff from the defensive men and the forwards on the PK unit. So like Jennings and whatnot. We're into the final 10 minutes of this third period. Still tied at two. Axel B gives the Bruins the lead. Damn it, guys. Come on. Get one back, please. Get one back. And we are not going to get it done. We lose 3-2 in game two. Not as good offensively for sure. And they outshot us 38-27. to So Zdorov kept us in that game. But our offense was just unable to score more than two goals. So getting a little bit weary about that. That sucks that they took one of our games. We got to win in Boston at least once too. So Chucky from Osens and Cardwell. And Dwyer from Hamelinen and Cardwell. I don't know if I really want to change anything yet. But Mateo Burkov definitely played much better in that game against us of course. Because game one he didn't play that good. I was kind of expecting that, kind of expecting that, but obviously we need to find a way to respond to that. So our nine game winning streak ends there in game two. Let's see if we could start up a new streak and win more games again, but let's first go to edit lines here and see if there's anything I want to do in terms of adjustments. Um, hmm. The top line is all minus, jeez. I didn't even realize that. Hmm. Uh, let's go with, uh, how has Chucky done? 12 points, 12 games. Boucher has been pretty quiet as of late. We'll go to Erat, top line, Boucher to second line. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Kavanaugh has been pretty good this round, so we'll get him with Cardwell again. Ramo with Cracknell. And obviously Zidorov will still stay in that because he's been actually way better than he was in the last few games recently. We could get Manny Booz back in too, but, hmm. He's a playmaker. I don't want to take really anybody out of the lineup because the fourth line's been pretty good defensively. Uh, Boucher's definitely been the weir worst player almost on the roster in terms of like defensive play. Hmm. Hopefully he finds himself and also chips in with some offense here soon because he's been a little bit quiet offensively. Okay, so we have a 1-1 series just like the Western Conference Finals. Let's see if we're able to respond and win at least one game here in Boston, because if we don't, we're in a bad spot. But if we win one of these games, at least we'll come out of this uh, series with a tie at that point. So let's see what happens in game three. See if we get out shoot them for a change, because they've outshot us in these first two games so far. First periods of game number three. Two, two, okay. At least our offense is still doing well enough. Jacobson scores a power play goal early. Zajac and Estrada score for them. So their defenders are scoring a lot of their goals, which is really interesting. And Ramo scores to make it a 2-2 game. So a nice goal from Ramo. That's his second of the series already, I think, at this point in time because he had one in game one. Shots are 16-10 in favor of us, so pretty damn good first period. Obviously looking to get that lead, though, is the next big theme for his team. Obviously not a great start really for Zidorov in that compared to the first two games. So hopefully he's not going back to his bad goaltending ways. Let's see if we can get that lead in the second period and hopefully build on that second period. 3 to us. Let's go. Chucky on the power play. Beats Burke off. The shots are now 26-18. But we're only up by one goal despite out shooting them by eight shots. So 
We need to find a way to get some more insurance in this third period because we know Boston has the offensive capability, even though they didn't really do so much in the first few rounds. So goal scoring wise, we know that they definitely could get offense from their back end and get this game tied back up. So let's be careful of that and let's get some insurance and lock this game down. Third period underway here in game three in Boston. Penalty kill. Nicely job. Uh, nice job, penalty killers. Jeez. <laughs> power play for us. Can we get another power play goal? No, we cannot. Final 10 minutes of this third period, still up by a goal. Can we hold on to this lead? Final few minutes, and we are going to lock it down. Let's go, guys. Good game three. Let's go. Not the best offensive effort again, but another good goaltending effort from Zadorov as he makes 32 of 34, and we win by a goal. And we have taken at least one game in Boston, which is exactly what we kind of hoped for. So Jacobson from Richter and Erat, Ramo from Del Rivera and Ozens, and Raymond from Boucher and Hamill Linen. Nice. Three stars of the game. Zajac, the first star for them. I don't know why he got first star over Zadorov, but I will take it. Zadorov gets second star and a Strata for them, the third star. Hmm. All right. So we have a 2-1 series lead. Good to have that series lead back. Because maybe we aren't going to just dry up offensively. If we could win another game in Boston, that sets us up for a really good spot. But also, who knows, maybe we could go on another winning streak here, though, all of a sudden, because we've now won 10 of our last 11 games. Can we start up another streak and get ourselves to that cup finals? Right now, San Jose is up 2-1 on Vegas. Hmm. I don't know if San Jose has ever won a cup in this franchise mode yet, so that's kind of interesting. But anyways, let's get to game four. This is an important game for both teams. We win this game. We're one win away from the Stanley Cup Finals again. We lose this game, and uh, we're back to square one again, and then it's a best of three. So let's see what happens here. Big game for both teams. Hopefully we can win another game in Boston. Come on, guys. You got this. Just need good goaltending from Zadorov and good offense from our team. First period. Scoreless. I'll take it. We don't need to necessarily score goals in the first period, but we just need to be able to at least still be in games because obviously giving up goals in the first period is where you kind of fall apart a bit, but for our team to not give up a goal is great. And uh, we're out shooting 14 to 8, so it's about time that we might score a goal too. So hopefully we can find a way to get to Burkov in that second period because obviously if he gets locked in too much, that's when it's going to be tough for our team to actually win this game. Can we get that lead in the second period? Second period. One nothing else. Let's go. Cracknell of all people. Okay. I like it. We're only up by a goal, so it's still not a huge lead, but shots are 22 20 now. Both goaltenders have been playing pretty good up this point, but we do have the lead. The question now is can we get some insurance and lock this one down and have a chance to go to the Cup Finals on home ice in the next game? Come on, guys. You got this. Third period. See if we could get that insurance marker. That would be huge if we could. Ah, oh, X will be ties the game up. That's not great. And we do get the lead right back, though. It's Turnbull, of all people, okay? I don't know why we're getting goals from random guys like that, but I will take it. Nolan makes it 2-2, though, for Boston to tie the game up. Are we going to be going to an overtime here in Game 4? Come on, boys. You got this. I believe in you. And we are going to overtime in Game 4. Of course we are. We've been to a couple overtimes so far in this playoff run. This is a big overtime that could change the complexion of the series. Because like I said, it could be a 2-2 series after this. It could be a 3-1 series after this. Shots are 33-30 in favor of us. It's a 2-2 game. Who wants to be the guy to be our hero for us? We've had a lot of good heroes for us in this playoff run so far in overtime. I can't remember exactly who scored all those overtime goals. But hopefully somebody on our roster could get it done. Let's see what happens in overtime. Come on, guys. You got this believe in the cheese i haven't said cheese in a while but believe in the cheese let's see what happens we've been getting goals from defenders so far maybe we could get another i don't know who won it there ah oh, it's mcintosh for boston as we give up an early overtime goal and unfortunately we are going to lose by one goal as our offense definitely hasn't been as good since game one final shots were 36 31 as burkov puts in a big effort to give his team the victory that sucks man Cracknell from Del Rivera and Ramo and Turnbull from Boucher and Mangone. We need offense from guys that are actually supposed to be scoring, not just those guys. <laughs> but that really sucks. Burkov is definitely doing whatever he can to get his team in it. Hmm. <clears throat> so we have a 2-2 series, which means it's going to a best of three now. And I'm a bit scared about that. 
but obviously we knew it wasn't going to be necessarily a cakewalk here in this conference finals like it was in the second round. San Jose is up 3-1 on Vegas at the moment, which is interesting. But now we're into a best of three. We have two home ice games potentially, so hopefully we can use that to our advantage a bit. Let me go to edit lines here and see if there's anything I wanted to in terms of adjustments. Just got to look through at the plus minus and stuff like that again. Yeah, that top line is really badly minus. Let's get Del Rivera to the top line. He was really good in the second round. He has not been so good here. Let's get him on that top line. And we are also going to get Richter onto the top line for something different. e at second liner. Boucher has been not great recently. He's up to nine points now. Uh, but we are going to demote him to the third line just for something different. And from a defensive standpoint, uh, we are going to move Mangone up. And we are going to have Cracknell on the top six, I think. You know that's two right-handed defenders next to each other. Just got to change something up. And Zdorov has still been pretty good, so that is that. And, uh, yeah, let's get a good response, guys. Let's get a good response. Obviously, losing in overtime is not ideal. Uh, let's not let them spark a comeback. We win this game. We have a chance to win the series in Boston. We lose this game. There's a chance we lose the series in Boston, which is not great. So we definitely need a win here. We're 10-4 and four so far in this playoff run. Let's see if we can take that series lead back. It's been a back-and-forth series so far. Can we take the lead again? Come on, you got this. Just need a good effort from Zadorov, and hopefully our offense can follow suit as well. First period of game number five. Two nothing us. Great start from our offense. Ramo has his third goal of the series. I don't know where he's scoring all these goals from. Tambellini scores as well. We're out shooting them 21 to 4 after the first period. That might be the most offensive chances I've seen in the first period. Usually when you see shots on goal, it's usually like 15 shots or less. 21 shots in the first period for us. We only scored two goals. That's a little bit scary. They only had four shots in the first period. So Zadorov is probably still not very warmed up yet, but Burkov has definitely warmed up quite a bit after that first period. Hopefully we could just keep it the same in the second period because obviously if they start clawing back, it's a little bit scary at that point. Let's see what happens in the second period. See if we could just play a great defensive period, maybe get one more goal just to play it safe. Second period. 4 nothing Halifax. Let's go. We're out shooting him 34 to 10 now. What the hell, man? They literally only had six shots in that second period. I thought they would get more chances after that, but man, we are just destroying them in this game. But I mean Burkov has kept them in this game for the most part, but wow. Was not expecting that. Colborne makes it 3 nothing. Erat makes it 4 nothing. Let's see if we lock this game down in the third period because so far Burkov has been the only one that's shown up for the Boston Bruins because they are not generating enough chances. And yeah, Zadorov has not had to make a ton of saves so far at this point. Penalty kill, 5 on 3 penalty kill. Nicely done penalty killers. That does give them a decent amount more shots than it was before. Wow. This might be the biggest shot advantage I've seen in regular strength as we are going to shut them out for nothing. And we outshot them 48 to 21. Wow. I mean, we're up in the series again, which is great, but I don't know if uh, that's a bad thing or not. Because Boston could still win two straight games out of nowhere because it's been back and forth so far. But we do win a, a nice shutout, which is great. And we are one win away from the Stanley Cup Finals. So Ramo from Ozens, Tambellini from Turnbull and Jennings, Colborn from Cracknell, and Erat from Ozens. Ozens has definitely helped out a lot with the assists in this round as well, just like last round. Zadorov will get first star with 21 saves, Ramo to second star, and Ozens to third star. But we are one win away from the Stanley Cup Finals and knocking out our former goaltender in Mateo Burkov. It's been a little bit of a weird series with Boston so far, so I don't really know if it's done yet, but it hopefully is soon. San Jose has taken out Vegas in five games. So if we win this game, we will be taking on the San Jose Sharks for the Stanley Cup Finals. And of course, you would have Sharks versus Raiders. Because obviously us being a pirate ship based team, the Sharks are swarming around our ship. But who wins? Is it the Pirates or is it the Sharks, you know? <laughs> uh, that would be interesting for a Cup Finals. I think we got to keep the team the exact same after a nice win like that. But I'm also a little bit scared that we might get all played somehow for two straight games. This has been back and forth so far. If we didn't lose that one game in overtime, we would have already won the series, which is crazy. So I am a little bit scared, but we got to ride that momentum. Keep the team the same for this game. 
If we lose this game, I might make some adjustments, but we need to win this or else we're going to a game seven to see who gets to the cup finals. Well, let's see what happens. Come on, boys. Game six in Boston. Looking to go to our third cup finals of this franchise mode. And second in the last, I don't know how many years it's been, but come on, guys. You got this. Believe in the cheese. First period of this cheesy game. one nothing us. Great start. Bernard Boucher on the power play. We're being outshot 11-9, but a good start from goaltender, uh, both goaltenders, I would say. Burkov definitely played solid in that first period for them as well, but we did score in the power play. Our power play has been pretty good here in the playoffs, I think. The question now is, can we get some insurance in the second period to make me feel a little bit more safe? Because a one-goal lead definitely against Boston is not uh, unsurmountable. Or, and, I, don't, I don't know what the word I'm trying to say. Unanswerable? I don't know. Yeah, unanswerable. I uh. <laughs> I legit can't think of what to say. I legit can't think of what I was saying there. Anyways, let's see if we get some insurance and make it a bit safer for the third period. Come on, boys. Believe in the cheese. Believe in the cheese. Second period. Ah, no, Zadorov. Mmm. XLB and Nolan make it 2 1 Bruins going into the third route, shooting 18 to 17. That's not ideal. I'm kind of scared that we might go to a game seven and they might be the first team to win two straight games. But we do still have a third period ahead of us where we could potentially tie it up and maybe get it to an overtime. So who wants to be that guy for us in this third period to lead by example, get this team to an overtime, or even give us the lead, something like that? Because um, right now our offense has been a bit inconsistent since that game one, like I mentioned earlier. Who wants to be the guy to keep a season going potentially? Come on, Chucky. Come on, let's get this game. Let's get this game. Power play, we do not score on it. Should have probably scored on that power play, but we didn't. Come on, guys. I know we have an answer for them. Penalty kill. Nicely done, penalty killers. Can we still tie this game up, though? We do have time on the clock. Final few minutes. McIntosh scores again. Raymond answers back. Good goal there from Chucky. Can we have another one? No, we cannot. We lose 3-2 as McIntosh's goal becomes the game winner. We have shot them 31-22. So Burkov has been good again. And we're going to a game 7 to see if the series gets extended a little bit longer or not. Boucher from Raymond and Ozens and Raymond from Cardwell. That's not great. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like how Burkov has been like one bad game, one good game. Because eventually he's going to have multiple good games. And we're going to a game seven back on home ice. This might be the last game the Halifax Raiders play, which is kind of crazy. Uh, let's go to Ed Lines and see what we could do in terms of adjustments. Because I think we need to find a way to readjust this just to kind of get things going here. So we're going to go with Raymond on the right side here. Ozen's on the top line. We're going to go with Del Rivera, Erat, Jacobson. Hamilton has been pretty good, actually, too, for that matter. Hmm, but I don't know where I would slot him in. I'm going to put Del Rivera down the middle. Erat's going to go down to the third line. Um, who has better face-offs between these two? Boucher does, okay. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. Hmm. Fourth line has been struggling a little bit defensively lately. Uh, let's go with Ramo and Cardwell. Kavanov could play with uh, Cracknell. And then we'll do Mangone and Turnbull. Hmm. Yeah, I think we got to go with this. I think we got to go with this. This is the team for potentially the last game in franchise history. Wow. Don't think there's anybody I would call up. Got to double check on that. No. Okay. Well, we're going to a game seven, and I need good stuff out of Ozens. He's been fantastic this round. If he could do it again, maybe we could win this game, but this is kind of scary that this might be the last game we see simulated. And since we're going to game seven, maybe we'll watch this entire third period depending on if it's tied or not, which is kind of scary. But you guys wanted it, so maybe that ends up being a thing. Depends if we're trailing or if we're winning. Maybe we'll watch it regardless if we're trailing or winning just to see how it ends up playing out. But this could be the last game. Let's see what happens. Real-time simulation. 
Let's not let Burkov win two straight games here, guys. Let's get to that cup finals against the Sharks. Let's do it. Let's do it for our fans. Real-time simulation has begun. Who wants to be the hero for us? I know Chucky's been good as of late, so maybe he could get some goals going for us. Because that would be nice. Or Ramo. He's been actually pretty damn good in the series, too. Penalty kill in this first period, and of course they score a power play goal, but we do have an answer, so that's at least good. Skilly scored first, but Hamelainen answers back for us. That's great to see that Hamelainen scores here, because he's more of a passer, but that's a huge goal from Hamelainen. Shots are 12-9 in favor of us. It's a 1-1 game after 1. We might end up having to watch the third period, who knows. And overtime, potentially. Depends how far this game gets, but let's see what happens in the second period. See if we're able to get that lead because we have not had the lead yet in this game. Come on, guys. It's just Mateo Burkov. I know he used to be your friend, but tonight he's not your friend. Glenn Jennings scores. It's a 2-1 game. He gets a power play goal. I didn't even realize he was on the power play, but that's a huge goal from Len Jennings, who's had some power play goals, shorthand goals, regular strength goals this playoffs. He's been pretty damn good. And we're up 2-1 going into the third. We're up 2-1 going into the third. I'm not going to watch the third period yet unless it gets pretty close near the end of it. So, 2-1 game for us. Shots are 23-21 in favor of Boston. He needs it off just to play like he did all playoffs long in his career so far. If he gets locked down this third period, we get in another goal. We might be going back to the Cup Finals. Obviously, if he falls apart, that's not great. Come on, please, guys. This might be the last third period of this team, so we need to keep our foot on the gas. Can we get a third goal and make it a little bit more breathing room? Come on. Penalty kill to start the third. They immediately score on the power play. We're going to intervene because they just tied it early in this third period. And we do not know what's going to happen. So, you know what? We're going to remove my face. I know it's kind of a weird time to intervene, but we are going to do it. Since, um, what is it? Since uh, <laughs> uh, Logan wanted to see a third period, we're going to do it. And we're going to put on our alternate jerseys because we have not seen those in action really that often, I don't think. So, are we going to be able to survive in this third period? Oh, boy. I didn't really want to watch the full third period necessarily right now, but we got to see what happens. They actually have a really good defensive rating. We have a good offensive rating, and we're tied goalie-wise. So this has been a really good series up this point, but at least I really hope that we can get ourselves to that cup finals, man. I just really hope we can. Turnover immediately to start this watching, and Pino walks in, and he shoots it wide. Get away, boys. We're on our a bit of on the heels a little bit. So they're off with a huge save there. Don't want to give them any chances on the pressure chart. But this might be a little bit of a long episode because we're watching a full third period. But at least it's a game seven. So it's not like we have any other games after this regardless. There might be a Stanley Cup Finals in next episode. But there also might be a recap depending on how we play in this period. Richter wins a draw. Raymond has it now. Here is Chucky with his yellow skates. Those yellow skates scream cheese. He finds Ozens a chance and that's turned away. Ozens gets it back again. That's turned away. Couple great chances there for Jan Ozens, who has not scored a goal yet in this playoffs, but he's got a lot of assists. Great stand up defense there from Cardwell, which is what we kind of need from him. Gunderson walks in, throws it back. Yikes, this is a crazy game. So far, Zajac out front. Huge save again by Zadorov. Yeah, they like to activate their defenders a lot, it looks like, too, because McCammon jumped in quite a bit. Chucky again. Yeah, those skates are definitely screaming cheese right now. Chucky walking in. Chucky throws it back to Ramo, who's been good in this series. Finds Cardwell, who walks in, can't get a shot. Cardwell getting back on defense. At least Zajac a little bit tired in his shift. Walks in with it still. Get away, guys. He's tired. I don't know how you're getting out dueled by a tired guy, but you are. Ramo walks in. Finds Jacobson, who's now out there. And he goes offside after a crazy nice move that could have sent him in alone. Wow. Okay. There's our team leaders in points. Ristel Rivera's up there now, but currently it is Chucky leading us by one point. It's been another good team effort in terms of points. It's not just one guy showing up, which is kind of cool. Okay, Pino with it again for the Bruins. Get away, guys. Get away. Shot and a huge save there by Zadorov. That's his 28th save of the game. And none maybe maybe bigger than that. Who knows? Oh, boy. Come on, guys. We have our captain out there, Ristel Rivera. The captain in this final season. Let's see if he can win this draw. And he doesn't. God damn it. Nice save there by Zadorov. And we do get it out fast enough so they won't get pressure. Jacobson dumps it into the corner. Chases it down. Right on Shannon, but he gets it out quickly. Skilly turns it over. Here is Del Rivera with that nice intercept. Finding Jacobson. 
Jacobson gets completely creamed. Here's Hamill line and throwing it to Del Rivera. He's got it. Tries to throw out front. Doesn't work. Skilly with it again. He's been a bit dangerous tonight for Boston. Walking in. Shoots it. It's blocked by Kavanov. Jeez, that was dangerous, that shot. Erat with it now. He's also got yellow skates. Can't get by Bell. Oh, my goodness. This game is going to make me sick, probably. X will be walking in. Pino can't get by Kavanov. Kavanov battling. Kicks it up the boards, and we can't get it out. Bell with it. Bell with it still. Throws out front. That shot just goes wide by number 39. I think that was Pino, but I can't remember who's worst 39 on their team. Erat up to Kavanov again. He finds Dwyer, the rookie. Dwyer skating in, shoots it, and Burkov the save. Man, Mateo Burkov actually looks pretty good with those Boston pads. I remember when he used to rock uh, pads, uh, those kind of nice colored pads with us. Oh, man, I missed that guy, but oh well. Bernard Boucher on the draw. He's been a little bit quiet. Can he get something going? Erat finds Ramo. He finds Carball a shot. That just missed that top cheese. Boucher kicks it around. Harima now with it for Boston. Throws it up. And it's now with Cesar Lehu, who can't get by. Dwyer trying to throw his body around. Nice pick off there by Bernard Boucher. And he'll get it out of the zone. It's now with Ramo. He throws it up to Erat. Erat with it. Finding Carbell. Carbell finds Ramo a chance. And Mateo Burkov stares down his old teammate. Wow. Ramo's been pretty damn good in the series in terms of activating offensively. Like, I've really liked his play. In terms of the goals he's scored in the series and chances... Richter on the draw. It's a tie up, and a Boston's got it. It's now with Hugo Durrett. Can't get by. Ozens to Richter. Ricardo Richter, who won the Consumite the year he won the cup, finds Ozens another chance and turned away by Burkov. We're into the final five minutes. Almost. Nice defensive play there by Cardwell. That's what he gets paid for. Gunderson walking in with it. Zajac. Get it away, guys. McIntosh a chance. Great block shot there. I don't know who blocked it, but it definitely got blocked. Ricardo Richter with it now. Ricardo throws it over to an open wing. Chucky finds Cardwell. Cardwell over to Richter. He walks in. No, he can't score. Ricardo Richter looking hard, like playing really hard here. Finds Chucky. Cardwell. Richter. Another chance and he's turned away. We almost have full pressure. If we can win a faceoff, maybe we can get a chance. But Ricardo Richter turns it on in the playoffs. We know he won a consmite before and he's looked pretty good in this third period here too. Ristel Rivera at the draw. He's got Jacobson and Hamelinen out there with him. Cardwell at the point. And we do win the faceoff. Ramo. Cardwell a bomb, and that's blocked. Here is Pino. Get away, boys. Come on, Ramo. Just cut him off. Nice play. Look at that stick by Ramo. Ramo is a fun player to watch. He finds Ristel Rivera, the captain of the team. He finds Ramo. Still in the zone. Ristel Rivera with it. He finds it to Cardwell. Cardwell makes a move. Shoots. It's turned away. And the loose puck. Del Rivera can't find it. We've been getting some really good chances as of late. Del Rivera again finds Cardwell. Cardwell. Ramo a chance. It's blocked. Holy crap. What a game this has been. Here is Boston again. We let them walk right in. Get it away. Nice defense. Good job, guys. Reese Del Rivera with it now. The captain walking in. Can't get by. Come on, guys. Get it away. Oh. X will be with the deke. Get it away. Nice play by Cardwell with the stick again. They laid penalty to the Bruins. We're going to the power play with 18.7 seconds left in this third period of Game 7. Who is it that heads to the box? It is Daniel Exelby. So that's who wore 39 at missed earlier. Wow. That might be a crucial penalty there by the Bruins. We might go to overtime still, but we do have a power play right now to work with to try and get that game-winning goal. Bernard Boucher on the draw, and he wins it. Dwyer finds Ozens. Oh my goodness. Huge save by Burkov. Of course, Burkov had to make that save. Jeez, man. That was crazy. Get away, guys. Nice poke check there again on defense. Wow, that save on Ozens. Reminiscence of Flurry robbing Nick Lidstrom for the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Well, not fully reminiscent of it, but that was an insane save. Could have won the series right there. But Burkov has definitely kept his team in this series, and I think he's the main reason why Boston might go to a cup finals potentially. Okay, well, we're going to an overtime, so let's hop right into it. See if we could find that uh, Game 7 OT winner to send us to that cup finals again. Who wants to be the hero? Let's get it done. Bernard Boucher can't win the draw. Bell 
Turns it over. Ozens to Hamelainen. Let's get it set up, boys. Cardwell finds Boucher. Doesn't work. Hamelainen had a chance and turned away again by Burkov. Oh, my goodness. Why do they have to have Burkov? Why couldn't Burkov sign with, like, somebody else? <laughs> Chucky to Hamelainen. Hamelainen with his yellow cheese stick. Walks in, finds Boucher, and that is blocked partially by the defender. Jeez, man. Woo. This is quite the game. I don't like that we're getting a lot of chances and they're staring us down all the time because I feel like Boston could just get a normal uh, blooper chance and they could score on it too. So we need to get our goal, boys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Richter can't win the draw. That faceoff was one right back to Burkov, and that was a little bit dangerous for them. Scrum in the corner. Jacobson digs it out. We have possession again. Throws it over. Cardwell. Richter shoots it. Turned away, and the rebound was there, but we can't get it. We almost had full pressure as well. But we aren't going to be able to get that pressure meter full. Cardwell battling. McIntosh digs it out somehow. Shane in with it. Nolan, get it away, guys. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yikes. Oh, my God. Yikes. I thought they were going to maybe score a shorthand goal to knock me out. Because I think it was, yeah, my Anchorage Ice Tigers series last year. I got uh, eliminated on a shorthanded goal to win the Stanley Cup, I think it was. Or something against the Islanders, if I remember right. So I am a little bit weary of stuff like that. Boucher on the defensive zone draw again. And it's a tie-up, and we managed to get possession. Dwyer. Boucher digs it out. Finds it to Erat. We got a lot of forwards out there. I don't have a single defenseman on this shift, which is kind of scary. Hamelainen finds Boucher. Bernard Boucher walks in. Finds it over. Siu takes it away and just dumps it. Oh, my goodness. Erat with it. Walks it right to the draw. I've nearly put it in his own net. That would have been not great. <laughs> Ozens over to Boucher. Boucher just gets hit a little bit from behind. Finds Erat over to Hamelainen. Our power play is almost over. Boucher gets in. Balanced for it. Still with it. Boucher. Erat. Hamelainen. Boucher! Oh my goodness! Mateo Burkov putting on his show in front of his old friends and also his like former fans watching. Oh my goodness. That glove save was nasty. That close to ending the series there, too. Two seconds left on the power play, which is not great. And they win the draw, and they don't clear it. Reese Del Rivera strips it. Del Rivera looking, finding Richter. He finds Cardwell a bomb, and that's turned away. Great chance there from Cardwell. This has been a crazy game, man. And the fact that they killed off that power play is not great. We should have been able to convert on that chances that we had, but we didn't. Cardwell with it again. Lost it. Got it back again. He finds Ricardo Richter. Who finds it to Jacobson. Who's got a breakaway. Jacobson in. Turn away again. And it's loose. And Burkov somehow finds it. What the freak is happening with Mateo Burkov? Oh my goodness. How did he stop that? He managed to corral the rebound so it didn't fly out. Oh my goodness. God damn, man. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to definitely take a screenshot of Burkov in a Bruins jersey after this game regardless, but oh my god. Delaware on the draw again. He wins it this time. Ramo a blast turned away. Oh my god. I miss Burkov so much. But I love Zdorov too though. Zdorov has been really good. Uh, Cardwell can't get it. McIntosh with it. Zajac a chance. It's blocked. The loose puck in front. I am kind of scared here. Get it out, boys. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out! Oh my goodness, the draw huge save, loose puck in front, and we do get a big save from our goaltender too. This has been a goaltending clinic between both a former uh, starter and the future starter that took over for him. Absolute craziness. Jacobson digs it out, Del Rivera, dog tired, finds it to Jacobson again, that's turned away too with the pad by Burkov. Holy crap, man. Ramo, get it away, McIntosh walks in, and that shot just missed. Jesus. He came and walks right back in and Zdorov stares him down. Yeah, this game's going to give me a heart attack. Holy crap, man. What an effort from both goalies so far. Who is going to be the one to break, though? We still got 13 minutes left in this first overtime, too. So, Richter ties up. Raymond got it out. Richter finds it. Cardwell over to Ozens, who had a great chance to win it before. Finds Chucky. Chucky walks in. Can't get the shot as it's greatly defended. As the Bruins do. X will be with it now. Get away, guys. Nice stick there by Carwell. He's tripped again. We are going back to the power play for the second time. 
Oh my goodness, this is the chance, guys. Bryce Pino heads to the box. That's one of their better players, I think. Not 100% sure on that, to be honest, though. <laughs> uh, because most of their better players are on their defensive side. But another tripping penalty right there. A good stick. Or actually, the other one was a slashing penalty, I think. But we are back to the power play. Can we find a series winner now? We generated some good chances on that last power play. Let's see if we could do that again. Boucher wins a draw. Finds Ozens. He finds Erat. Dwyer. Ozens again. Shoots it. It's blocked. Ozens tries to poke it to the net. It's blocked again. And Shannon will clear it right onto the stick of a Bruins guy. And it's a battle right there, but we do get it away. We do have five forwards out there again. And Hamelina gets decked. He loses his helmet, which means he has to go off. But Ozens walks right in. He shoots. He scores. Yon Ozens. Shout out to Logan. Because he is saying, is Ozens going to show up? He does. Halifax going back to the Stanley Cup Finals on a power play goal from Jan Ozens. That's his first goal of this playoff run. We're going back to the Cup Finals for only the third time in franchise history. And of course, we have to do it in this last season as former goalie Mateo Burkoff put on a clinic. But his Bruins are not going to the Cup Finals. Your Halifax Raiders are going to get one more chance as they battle with the San Jose Sharks. Oh my goodness. There is Ray Stella Rivera. We've seen three different guys get this thing, but obviously the only one that's won it so far is Lehman. But there is Reese Delaware. Holy crap, what a game that was. Could not script it any better. I'd love seeing Burkoff make those crazy saves. But we do find a way to win it on a power play goal. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that Jacobson save was insane too. And in the game winning goal, what skill there by Ozens to send us to that cup finals. Holy crap, man. Three stars of the game. Let's see this. Skilly had two, both Bruins goals. He gets third star. Ozens is second star with a goal and assist. He had some really good chances. He almost won it late in the game too. Wow. And in the first star of the game, going to Zadorov. Let's go Zadorov. Honestly, I'm surprised Burkov wasn't a star in that game. But look at the effort here by Jan Ozens. Hamelin gets completely decked, loses his helmet. He does get an assist on this play, but he had to go off on a line change. Ozens walks in. He has the opportunity to pass, which normally he would. But he decides just to carry it to the net. Walks right in and fires this in on Burkov. And that will send us to the Stanley Cup Finals. I think this is the definite chance to get Ozens a nice photo. So we are going to do that. Let me remove my face again and get some screenshots here. Because, of course, this is a big moment for this team. So there is Ozens and Burkov, especially in the background. I do want to get Burkov, though as just a, in Bruins colors because this guy's a goat and he will go down in channel history still regardless craziness man wow was not expecting us to actually be able to win that game to be honest when we were getting robbed so much I thought uh, there was no chance but we managed to do it insane and some of those saves like I said by uh, Burkov were freaking crazy oh my goodness like, if we go to, yeah, that Jacobson chance, I think it was this one. No, this Jacobson chance was really good, too. Like, this one could have went in, too, but a huge save there by Burkov. And, of course, uh, Jacobson also had that breakaway chance that he walks in and gets completely robbed right there with the glove. Oh, my goodness. Look at that glove. God damn, Burkov. And then it's loose there in the front, and he finds it. And then there's obviously the late chance in the third period that comes to mind here too from Jan Ozens. Right there. That push across. Wow. And there was also that other chance in overtime too that we had. Uh, I'm trying to remember who it was that had that chance. Was it Richter? Uh, no, that one was a pretty good save though too. So I do want to look at all those plays. I think it was, maybe it was Bernard Boucher. Oh, yeah, it was Boucher. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, see, Burkoff completely put on a clinic. He just wanted to give you guys a lot to cheer about in that game. And, wow, what an effort from our former goaltender against us. But we managed to win. And we're going back to a cup finals again. Huge. The question is, what do the San Jose Sharks look like? <laughs> is it's literally going to be a battle of, like, Raiders and Sharks. We're going to be on our pirate ship using our cannons. They're going to be swimming around us in a huge-ass mob of sharks. But let's take a look at our player stats anyways after the first three rounds. And we'll see who we're facing in San Jose for the Stanley Cup. So, Erat on 14 points. Pretty damn good. Richter on 12 points. Boucher on 10. Tambellini on 5. Like I said, our depth scoring is not really much of a problem. 
Hamline on 16. Ozens had a fantastic uh, conference finals. The one goal, and then also I think he picked up eight assists, if I'm not mistaken. So he's been really good. Booz hasn't played still in a while. Chucky on 15 points. Del Rivera on 14. Same with Jacobson. Dwyer on 8 points. Jennings on 7. Colborne on 6. Defensively, Carball's got 12. Ramo's been great. 7 points and a plus 12. Yeah, this is really good. And then goalie-wise, Zidorov on a 926. Okay, well, there's that. The question is, what are the San Jose Sharks going to be looking like? What are the Sharks going to look like? Is there any former players we're going to have to face in this Cup Finals? And oh my goodness, the Sharks only went 42, 29, and 11. Wow. That means either they're a cheese team or they're a team that we could easily beat, potentially. Hmm. Wow, okay. Let's take a look at actually how they simulated first playoff-wise and regular season-wise. Then we'll take a look at the roster. So, if we go to entire league, actually, yeah, entire league-wise, I guess would make sense. We know that we're pretty much better than most things, but they were the 11th best team, so not that bad. They scored 300 goals. They allowed 269, so good defensive effort, I guess. Power play 20.4, and penalty kill 84.5%. Okay. What about playoff-wise so far? Let's do a comparison in terms of our playoffs to theirs. So, they are 12-3 and up to this point, so they're on a really good run just like us. Uh, they've been scoring more goals per game, so they've been a very good offensive team in the playoffs and also pretty damn good solid defensively too. Their power play has been a little bit worse than ours, but not too bad. And penalty kill-wise, we've been a lot better than them. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, this is going to be a really interesting cup finals for sure. Well, let's take a look at what they actually look like on paper. Is there any former players of ours that signed in San Jose? Not that I could think of, but who knows, maybe somebody found their way there recently. So, the San Jose Sharks, led by Corbin McCauley, Wade Barabell, Guy Lacerte. Holy shit. Okay, the Sharks' offense is really good. And I am scared. <laughs> I am scared. For what they've simulated, like, this team is definitely a team that could win a Stanley Cup. Uh, wow, okay. Let's see who is there. So, Barabell's been there his entire career as well. McCauley, too. He was a former first overall selection. San Jose has made it a decent amount of times, but not very consistently. Second line, Eugene Doan, Alex Simon, and Jaden Hendry. Alex Simon, huh? Drafted also by the Sharks name. Okay. Yeah, it's a very good top six. Very good. Third line, Peyton Redden. Uh, a lot of you guys told me to take him over... Who was it that was... Oh, yeah, it was... Uh, I think I'm trying to remember him if I'm right. I think it was between him and FPZ. We had a poll, and you guys still had uh, to take FPZ over Redden, if I remember right. Peyton Redden's had a really solid career, though. But, yeah, I remember Peyton Redden for sure. Uh, Earl Genoway and Matthew Robida. And in a fourth line, of Jimmy Richards, Walter Gomez, and Gustavo Marks. Okay. Yeah, so that four group is pretty good. Pretty damn good. Defensively, not so much. Still solid, though. Grayson Betts. Riley Gostad, damn. I remember this guy still from all those years ago. He's been there a long, long time. They also have uh, Peter Stechkel, Bob Shields, Corbin Blaine, and Emiliano Tamara. Yeah, the defensive core definitely isn't as good as their four group, but it's still not too bad. Goaltending-wise, they have Nathaniel Nakamura and Passy Michaela. So, their goaltending is okay. Their defense is okay. Their offense is really good. Depth-wise, Tom Shanahan, Robert Bengston, and Dimitri Loktyanov. So, no former players, but in my opinion, they're definitely more of an offensive team. So, they're kind of reversed to what Boston was like. Because Boston was pure defense. Uh, San Jose is pure offense. So, that's interesting. Well... Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of our Halifax Raiders Draft the Glory franchise mode. So in next episode, we'll take it to the final simulation episode, regardless, as we take on the San Jose Sharks looking to win that second Stanley Cup. And uh, obviously, the episode after that will be a full-on recap, depending if we win the Stanley Cup or not, where we're going to look through player records and all that stuff, see who did what. But uh, definitely next episode is the final simulation episode. We're either going to win a Stanley Cup to end the series or... 
or we're going to lose in the cup finals, which I mean, at least we've managed to get this far because I don't think I ever thought we'd get back to this cup finals again. But here we are and we have another chance. We just need to win four more games and we get that second cup. So let me see that below and I'll see you guys next time.